Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Their lives are gonna be changed forever. Their parents' lives are gonna be changed forever. And nobody thinks about that, just from a fight. 43-year-old Christopher Wright was killed protecting his kids from a fight that started at Brooklyn Park Middle School Friday and was brought to his doorstep in Anne Arundel County. So then Chris came out and to tell them, like, he's not coming out here to fight. And they had threatened at one point to come in and get him. And then, they said that if you're not gonna, if he's not gonna fight, then you're gonna fight us. Tracy Karabczynski, Wright's fiance, says three teens and two adults showed up at her house looking to fight her 14-year-old son. But what happened next was criminal. The damage was done before the ambulance ever took him away. He had had a seizure. It was done. They. There was nothing that the hospital could do. I'll never forget the sounds. I'll never forget the noises my nephews made when we had to tell them he was gone. Wright was taken to shock trauma Friday and pronounced dead Saturday from a traumatic brain injury. The incident was caught on the victim and a neighbor's security camera. I was at shock trauma in the beginning initially and my dad and I tried to go on to the camera to look and the first video that comes up is my 12 year old son screaming, daddy, 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 and running out of the house to go into the street and help his dad. And I couldn't watch anymore after that. I just couldn't. School officials confirmed the fight between the teens and say they worked to address the issue. Now they're working with police on the investigation. Any, anybody who assist or abetted or was an accomplice of, of the, the, the main suspect or the primary suspect in this incident would be culpable. Karabczynski says Chris was a devoted father who loved the stars and gardening, her best friend taken over senseless violence. It's everywhere. It is everywhere. And somewhere we as parents are failing these children. Like, as parents, we're failing. It's not the school's responsibility. It's our responsibility. Wright's family is planning a candlelight vigil to honor his memory. In Anne Arundel County, I'm Jenny Donaldson for WBAL TV 11 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.